Well, I'm really disappointed by the union's reaction to this. Uh, the industry has operated for years on a higher measure of inflation than other parts of the public sector, other parts of the economy. I'm simply saying that we should treat the rail industry the same as everybody else and rail staff the same as everybody else. The union's position appears to be we want bigger pay rises for our members and we want passengers to pay for them. One of the myths that the unions put around is that fair money just goes to shareholders. The reality is that only about 2p in every pound uh, is made in profits and actually many of the companies are losing money at the moment. Uh, and That is the way in which the private sector has its involvement in the railways and pays for the investment that it makes. So new trains all the way around the country, for example, north, south, east and west, funded by the private sector. If the railways were nationalised, those new trains would not be there and the railways would be having the battle they always used to have in the days of British Rail, each year competing for funds with the health service, with education and not getting the funds they need to buy new trains. Well, what we're seeing now is an investment programme around the country in new trains, for example, every single train in the north of England, every single train in East Anglia, uh, trains across the south, longer trains in London, uh, new investments taking place to give passengers a better deal on a railway that is absolutely bursting at the seams. But, but there have been some unacceptable no. situations this summer and that's why we move quickly, not just to use the standard compensation packages, but to add an enhanced compensation package worth almost 10% of the annual cost of those people of travelling to, to compensate for what's happened. But the blame doesn't necessarily lie with the train companies in the north of England. It's because of a network rail, publicly owned network rail investment investment project that went wrong. One of the frustrations has been that actually the problems in the north originate from a big investment programme on the railway line between Manchester and Preston that went wrong, that caused timetable chaos and passengers have suffered as a result and that's why we've moved quickly to make sure they've got a proper compensation package. What we know from when you freeze fares, it's happened in London to a degree and the result of that is cuts in investment and cuts in bus services. Uh, that's what's happened with fare freezes in London.